Hello, I'm Mike Mazzalongo, another video blog. Today, I want to talk to you about the parable of the cork. You know, Jesus used parables to teach uh, the people uh, when He was here on earth. Parables are an interesting way of teaching, uh, usually a story about a physical thing that you can actually see and touch and understand, um, used in order to explain something that you can't see. In other words, Jesus used parables or stories about things that people could see and touch in order to explain to them some of the mysteries, some of the ideas contained uh, in the teaching about the kingdom of God, things that they couldn't actually see with their, with their eyes. Well, in the world, there are also other ways to uh, have parables. For example, uh, the cork is a, a marvelous uh, little uh, uh, creation uh, that has a, a wonderful a story in it, a wonderful parable to, to uh, teach us and to guide us, to warn us. You know, the beauty of cork is that it's so light and it's very buoyant. If you were to throw it in the water, it would simply float on the top. And if you, um, if you took it and you, you, you pushed it under the water, it would naturally rise up and, and come back to the surface once again and continue to float. And you could do that over and over again, it would continue to rise to the top. As a matter of fact, if you took the cork and, and, and you pushed it down perhaps to 50 or 100 feet, even that deep, it would eventually rise once again to the top because its natural buoyancy would enable it to, to get to that. But scientists tell us if you take a cork and you bring it down to a certain depth of water, perhaps 200 feet under water, at that point the pressure above the cork is greater than the ability or the buoyancy of the cork to rise. And so the opposite thing happens. When you bring it to a certain low point, the cork doesn't rise, it actually falls to the bottom of the sea. Well, here's the parable. Corks are like Christians, or perhaps we should say Christians are like corks. We, we float, if you wish, on the surface of the world. Yes, we get wet and you know, waves come over us and so on and so forth, and we take on certain uh, uh, characteristics of the world, if you wish, but we're always floating on the surface of the sea. Sometimes because of weakness or or temptation because of our character and so on and so forth because of sin, we, we sink into the world at a certain depth. But because of our spiritual buoyancy, we're able to rise above again. That spiritual buoyancy always works for us to enable us to overcome those things and to rise back to the surface of the world. And sometimes we can go pretty far down into the world and yet our natural spiritual buoyancy will help us to come back up. However, there is a point in our lives, there is a point in our actions where we can sink so low into the world that the pressure above us is greater than our spiritual buoyancy to enable us to come back to the top. And instead of coming back up, we sink to the bottom. Uh, th there's a passage in the Bible that explains this exact phenomenon. It's in uh, Hebrews chapter six, beginning in verse four. The Hebrew writer says, for in the case of those who have once been enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and have been made partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come and then have fallen away, it is impossible to renew them again to repentance. So the writer here, he's talking about Christians. Who else, uh, you know, who else would be the ones uh, who have been enlightened or who've received the heavenly gift, who've been partakers of the Holy Spirit? Who else is he talking about? Of course he's talking about Christians. And he says, those who've tasted that, those who have had that and have fallen away, have sunk down so low, they get to a point where they cannot be renewed again. They can't come back. And so the lesson of the parable, or rather the parable of the cork, is this. Be careful if you're a Christian. It's true, we, we are tempted, we slip, we fall, the Lord is always there to bring us back. But be careful not to risk your salvation by sinking so low into the world by careless behavior, careless sin, rebellion, that you might get to the point where you can't come back. That's the parable of the cork. I pray for it each one that is listening to this, uh, uh, to this blog item today. And if you should need some help, prayer, encouragement in any way, please contact me, mike 
at BibleTalk.tv. Until we see you again, God bless.